Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket. Today, we're gonna be unboxing these packages here. This one is probably a very popular item. Yep, I'm right. This one is some IC Diamond. It's one of the best options you can get out there for cooling your CPU. I'm gonna be using that along with this other thing that I get which I have no idea which package this one's in. I'm just guessing it's in this one. For some reason, this one seems like it's glued. Maybe I open it here? Oh yeah, this is where I open it. go. This should be it now. What's this? Oh, okay, this is the wrong package. That goes over there. This one should have it then. Try not to break anything. Yeah, this one should have it. Okay, this is just bubble wrapping. These are not for me. A whole ton of bubble wrapping. And this is mine, and this is mine. Okay, so I want you guys to guess what is in this box. I'm gonna give you some hints. It's an upgrade for my computer, and this is a part for my computer. I want you guys to post the, your your suggestions in the comments below, and I'll see if you guys are correct. There you go. It's the Corsair H55. I got this cooler because I was going. I was actually going to go with the mainstream one, the H100i V2. That's the one I think. But that one was actually very expensive, and it actually costed more than the CPU that I bought itself, which is the 6300. And so I figured there was absolutely no reason to buy a cooler that would be more expensive than the 6300. And this one was only $60, and that's actually very cheap for a water cooler. And so I thought, H55, it's a water cooler, it's a... 120 millimeter, I think, and uh, that should be good enough. I should be able to overclock this to over 4. Po over 4.10 gigahertz because I'm able to do 4.10 gigahertz with. I'm not going to tell you because some kind of air cooler. I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to make a video on that. But warranty manual guide. Okay, so this is the unboxing of the H55 now, basically. So. Nice foam padding. That's very nice. This is good, the way they separated it like this, because it's very packed and not gonna jiggle around. Let's see what's in this. This is all your mounting equipment, your screws, and all that sort of stuff. This is your 120... Oh, I believe 120. Uh, let me check that right away. Yes, that's your 120 fan. It Looks pretty good. I don't know which way it spins, so I'm actually not going to spin it because I found out that's not the best thing you can do to your fans. And this is the cooler itself, so it actually looks a lot bigger in the picture. I never actually held a water cooler like this, and I never held an AIO before, so I have no idea how big it is. But this is how it looks. And the fins and everything, it's pretty good. I didn't think it would be like this. So, I actually need to show you guys what that other thing is now. The thing in another bag, so... What's in here? Oh. Oh, oops. I almost messed up. See, that has some thermal paste on it. But, uh... I accidentally pulled off the cover, so I was about to just smear that all over the place. Now, I'm actually gonna take that off, because I want some icy diamond on there. And, besides that, that amount of thermal paste looks like that's way too little to cool your CPU. So let's go ahead and put this back on. There we go. Let's see what else is in this box. Nothing. 
So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Now let me show you what's in this thing is a splitter. I'm not sure if this is going to work yet. It's just the best splitter I think I could find. So what this does is it converts this one plug to these four plugs. These This is a PWM one to four splitter. And hopefully this will allow me to plug in this thing and this thing into one socket. I didn't know that an AIO comes with a plug for the pump and a plug for the fan. I thought it's just going to be a plug for the fan without thinking what's the pump going to do. So I just bought this because for some reason I thought it wasn't going to fit even though I knew I'd be able to support one more fan. So I don't know, just happened to get it and work. So what did we unbox? The AIO, the fan of course for the AIO. We got this thing which has a sticky pad on the back for you to glue it somewhere. I see diamond all the equipment. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, you know what to do. Um, yeah, I'll be making some more videos like this, including the overclocking of my FX6300 is my next video, and some more reviews coming out, of course, for this thing and other products. If you want to stay to those, click the subscribe button somewhere over there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.